Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited. We have a very large, I might even say huge, luxury designer haul and unboxing because I've never, I haven't unboxed anything yet. I have no idea if anything's going to work, but I'm pretty pumped because these items are things that I don't normally go for. So I'm kind of just going outside of my comfort zone. Some of the designers are actually designers I've never owned before. Like we have something from Versace. We have something from Gucci, Chloe, Balenciaga, Burberry. Yeah, two handbags, pair of shoes, clothing pieces. So ready to wear. A lot of times I show more affordable clothing. This is opposite spectrum. This is very expensive clothing. So we have a, a full array on my channel here, something for everyone. Um, so if you are new, consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. Um, oh, and I do wanna say, special announcement. I am really working hard on my Facebook page. So I would love for you to seriously take like, Go like me on Facebook because I'm spending a lot of time there. And I, my goal is to get 10,000 likes on Facebook because then I'm a real video creator on there. And you guys know how much I love video and I'm gonna be posting different videos on Facebook. So go like me on Facebook. Um, but yes, let's get back to this unboxing and what should we start with? Okay, so let's just pull this first box over here. I do wanna say that everything is from Farfetch, but it's not, it's not a sponsored video. I promise. Um, they did reach out to me a while back about giving me a voucher to use if I wanted to shop on their website. And then I got sucked into their website because it's very good. And I ended up ordering a lot more items on top of the voucher. Obviously that I was responsible to pay for that. Um, but they did give me a discount code for you guys because I told them I was gonna do this video. Um, so it's 10% off if you do end up shopping at Farfetch. I think there's a couple brands excluded, but for the most part, it's like their, ent their entire site, like new stuff, sales stuff, everything. Um, um, it's really amazing there. I've shopped on Farfetch a long time. I think my Givenchy bag is from there. I think I ordered another bag actually around Christmas and I didn't like the color. And so I ended up sending it back and the return policy was amazing. But basically their website is a huge global marketplace um, full of luxury designer items from all over the world. So I think this box came from the UK. Another box I have came from the US. Um, yeah, and their items are just styled really well on the site. So again, I think that's why I got sucked in because it was just really nicely laid out. And I I could tell what everything looked like really well. All right, so we're just gonna start with a pair of shoes because I know these are shoes because I see the little picture on the side. Um, I, I think my plan is to actually just open them, kind of analyze them, and then I'll just cut to me trying everything on and telling you if I like it or not, and then we'll cut back to me unboxing. So it'll just be a lot of information and real reactions, I guess. These are very, ah, these are just beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love them, okay. So these are the Balenciaga pointy flats. Yeah, I'm really good at, what were they really called? Okay, so these are the BB or Balenciaga sling back flats. Um, they're kind of like the knife. I don't know why knife is coming. They're just really pointy, clearly. I, I've i seen these out and about, um, not really in real life, just on the good old Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I really like them. I have no idea if they're going to fit, so I guess Guess we'll just cut to me trying them on. Okay, we're back. Many hours later to try these shoes on. This looks weird. Is my zipper down? That's been an issue before. These shoes, I haven't tried them on yet. Um, my biggest concern with them is like the stretch. Is, is my heel gonna be off the back? Is it gonna be too loose or tight? I don't know. These are 37 and a half, so that's true to size for me. I read, or I did some research before I ordered and it seemed like these are true to size, so fingers crossed. Um, let's just put them on. Okay, I think that's okay. I think they're good. They seem a bit slippery. Let's stand up. They're very slippery. And I could kill you with them. Whew. I think I really like them. I wanted to go for flats just because I feel like with designer shoes, if they're very comfortable, I will reach for them and actually wear them. Um, I just imagine these more with like a blazer, you know, kind of more, a little bit more dressy, but not too dressy. Uh, and I just really liked the pop of blue. I don't have anything this shade whatsoever. So I thought it'd just be a really cool little pop of color that I could add to maybe a basic outfit. So, um, I think they're a win, but I think it only time will tell if I actually wear them or if they're comfortable long term. And we're back. I have no idea if I liked those shoes. 
because that was in the future, but now we're back here. Okay, so the next thing, we're just cutting to a bag. We're gonna kind of just jump around. Here is the Chloe dust bag. So this is a Chloe bag. I've had my eye on this. Um, this is probably not going to go as well as I had hoped because everything is wrapped up really, really well. Okay, I have sufficiently removed all the wrapping. And so this isn't quite a genuine reaction because I've already seen it for like 10 minutes, um, but it is the Chloe Test hobo bag. Oh my God, I love it. No, I really do like it a lot. Um, it's so pretty. I had my eye on this when I went to New York City. I kept trying it on. Um, it's just, it's a really good neutral color. And it, you know, it definitely looks like, it kind of reminds me of the Chloe Nile bag, which I love. I, I know that bag doesn't fit that much, but it just looks like a good designer bag. You know what I mean? I don't know. Chloe is just like really, I love their designs. And so I like how this can actually fit like that if I want. Um, and then it does have the longer strap that is removable. And I love how it has silver and gold hardware. And then the magnetic opening is really easy. It's easy to get in and out. Then there's another little slot right here. Um, it's just really pretty. I really like this. I feel like it's a little different than, you know, like it's a hobo style bag, kind of. I mean, it's still kind of a handbag. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. So it's a win, yay. Okay, so we're moving on to the next piece, which is a Gucci clothing ready to wear piece. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'll obviously have to try it on. Like I'll cut to that and see if I like it, if it fits, whatever. Um, I don't know. Oh goodness, I feel it. Okay. So it is a Gucci sweater. Oh my gosh. So this is, wow. That is, that's, that's there. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I really like it. Like when I look at it, like I'm imagining, I'm trying to like think of how I can style this. I feel like this is so cool though. Um, like when I look at it here on the screen, I'm just like, whoa. Um, so I, I don't think it would look good with what I'm wearing now, um, but we'll try it on. I'll try and style it, you know, how I would want to wear it and we'll see what happens. So, woo, okay. So here we are, here's the sweater. And I just decided to style it with a pair of wide leg, beigey white pants with a gold chain belt. And then obviously here is the, the Gucci sweater. It's cotton. I feel like it feels, like you can tell it feels expensive. Um, is it worth the price tag? I don't know, probably, no, it's not. I, I'm still, you know, not completely on board with really expensive clothing pieces unless you love it and you're gonna wear it for years and years and years and years. Am I going to love this years and years and years from now? I, I don't know. Um, but I do think it makes a really cool statement. Um, I do really like it. Let me just show you what it looks like, you know, if I were to untuck it. I think you could wear this with a pair of jeans and it would look, you know, a little more, I don't know, a little more casual. I got a size extra small and I feel like it fits pretty well. So the next item is this Burberry. I almost said what it was. You can probably guess what it is, but we're saving for, we're saving the Versace bag for the end because I'm so excited for it. Um, all right, this Burberry box. Well, there it is. Okay, um, it's a Burberry scarf. I know this is nothing like crazy exciting. I, I bought one last year, actually. I think I even featured it in my gift guide video, but that's the thing, it was a gift. So I gifted it away, um, but I just wanted a good, Bar Burberry scarf, you know, and this, this takes the, this looks nice. Yes, I like it. I feel like it would be look, look really cool if I like belted it with, you know, a nice coat. Um, I love the, the pattern of it. There's so many different patterns when it comes to Burberry scarves. You can just get really thick ones. You can get ones that actually have like no red. You can get a lot of different shades, but this is just like, oh, this is so good. I'm loving this. I'm really loving this. So um, perfect time of the year too, because it's getting cold. I think today it was like 42, which sucks. Okay guys, it's time to get serious. No more sitting pretty. We're going cross legged because I am pumped for this, this bag. This is a Versace bag. I've, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of people that don't like it. It's a bit loud, <laughs> um, but I, there's just something about Versace. I have really, been bit by the Versace bug. I don't I don't even know why, but I went in to their store when I was in New York City. A lot of this was inspired by my New York City trip, but I was just like, oh my gosh, like why have I never like paid that much attention to, I just loved their stuff. Um, and so this is so classic Versace, classic Versace. Um, and because of that, you know, it might not be for everyone, but 
it's for me, okay? Uh, so here is, oh my gosh, I see it. It looks so pretty. Okay, so it is a, it's called the Baroque Quilted, I think it's, I don't know if it's a camera bag, but it is, it's like, you know, a crossbody bag. And this is like the classic Versace print. Um, there's like the Medusa head right here. Let's, I don't even know. Let's just see what it looks like inside. This is it's very stuffed. So it holds a lot. I did look at this, you know, already in person. It's, it's stuffed very well. Um, Okay, so it is it is kind of squishy, but it's leather, it's quilted, it feels so nice, but it holds so, so much. Um, and then obviously the, the shoulder strap is leather and it's really, really comfortable. There's a little chain detail as well. Uh, and I just really like it. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I didn't take the time to shout out the Steelers. Not only will I be fashionable, but I'll also be representing black and gold. Shout out to all of my Pittsburgh Steeler fans out there. Go Steelers. You guys know how much I love crossbody bags. I really have been trying to like get outside of the crossbody bag world, but I was sucked back in with this bag. So anyway, that was my huge luxury haul. I feel like it was kind of a lot, um, but I, 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 I actually, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that I loved everything because I haven't tried it all on yet, but you guys know what I mean. It's the magic of editing. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. All of these items, if you wanna check them out, will be linked down below. Um, but yeah, subscribe if you're new, like it if you liked it, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.